Today's video is packed with a few different sections. To start off, street spot. I was walking around here the other day with my fiance and walking. Just happened to bump into this cool wall ride. Look at this. It's so freaking cool, so random. Wall ride, bank, and rail, maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna hit my shoulder or head on this thing. Might have to be like a quick tap and a lean kind of grind or stall, whatever we're doing, but wall ride spot, local piece. And they have a little corner thing right here. Wall ride, but instead of hitting this wall, hit this one and then maybe land fakey. Never underestimate parking lots. Usually, there's something. And when I mean something, I mean if it's raining and you try to find something to ride, most people will hunt for parking lot spots to hit a curb, hit a wall ride, maybe a manual pad. Worst comes to worst, you have a covered spot. But this parking lot pulled through because on the side of this parking lot, not even the inside, I didn't even check the inside of this yet. But on the side of this parking lot, you have this cool wall ride, rail, bank thing and for years you always check parking lots you never know man you know what i was thinking it doesn't seem bad because it's so low and yeah this thing kind of sucks but i guess because we're leaning we'll be fine but if i overshoot it that would suck okay that's a no because my teeth just got really close to that. And I spent about $9,000 on these teeth the last three years, so definitely not trying to lose them. <laughs> and to make up for not doing a salad to fakie, we did that. This part about street is the exploring because sometimes you don't find stuff, but it's still fun to push around and see what is around what stores are around what other places besides scootering things or skating things whatever you're doing but i always liked exploring and finding stuff and i've always believed that you'll always find something something it may not be amazing but you might be able to find something like this up ledge look at this <laughs> this is a freaking good parking lot out of all the parking lots i've been to this might be top five I don't want to make it hot and I don't want to film it because I didn't want to jinx myself but there were cops circling in that parking lot and for cops to be in an empty parking lot, there'd be only one reason. And the reason is someone probably called and complained and they heard the noise and they thought I was doing something stupid besides doing good tricks. But we evaded that real quick. A lot easier to evade these guys than the New York cops. Now I'll show you exactly what you want to see and why you clicked this video in the first place. What we got going on back here. Whoa. What the? Yo, this is wild. This train's just chilling. No one's here too. Why do they just park it? Why don't they park it at a station? Ba -da -da -da. It's nice and quiet. Oh, a little rusty though. I didn't even realize these stupid cables are here. That's annoying. All right, let's see if we can get at least a few tricks on this. Nobody's here too. A little barsman piece. This is sketch. So much rust. I think that's good for me. Kind of sick. Random train parked in the middle of Apex. I mean, it'd be crazy to get up there, but the last thing I want to do is be that high up and the thing just starts picking up. The sirens got me a little shook. Like, oh my God, of course, my luck. As soon as I climb on this thing. I haven't done anything like that in a while. I haven't been on some kind of vehicle since back in New York because there's just a lot more to do in New York, but pretty random. It's weird that's not a station, but that's enough 
adrenaline for me. Let's go ride flat. Both times at the street spot and then the train spot, there were just cops driving around. As soon as I got off the train and went toward the skate park, I just saw a cop drive right past me in the parking lot. Didn't see me. Now that we're back home, there's a few clips that I want to show you that I filmed over the last few days and I'm very proud of, so check these out. I've been getting used to this spot more and more every single day. And now to end the video, let's do five tricks. See if we can come up something new at the end just to finish this off. My last trick, I have an idea. I've never tried this before. I can do this trick by itself. I hold the head tube and I'm on the back pegs and I've done combos with this trick, but I've never pumped it. If I can at least work this one a little bit, that would be something new for me. Come on. Dude.